Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to the new episode of Dealing with Difficulty. We're talking about how to connect with Allah. We're talking of the hardship and the difficulty there is in connecting with Allah. Today, I'd like to speak about the difficulty people face when it comes to prayer. Prayer. So many of us know what is required of us. In fact, we all as believers, as Muslims, know that there are five prayers that are compulsory a day, Fajr, Dhuhr, Asr, Maghrib, and Isha. But unfortunately, not all of us are regular on those prayers. We know we want to pray. We find it difficult. So I want to start off talking to you about how important it is to connect with Allah five times a day. Look, what do you have? What Whatever you have was given to you by Allah. وَمَا بِكُمْ مِن نِعْمَةٍ فَمِنَ اللَّهِ Whatever it is that you have in terms of favor is from Allah. It's not from you. It's not from anyone else. It's from Allah. If you think, well, I was sharp and intelligent, who gave you the brain? If you think, well, I did this good deed, who gave you the understanding? And so on. We can take it back. It always roots with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, remember this, it's a very, very important rule that your favors and everything you have is from Allah. Now, Allah gave you a heartbeat that you cannot hear, yet it's loud within your system. If you take a stethoscope and want to hear your heart, you'd be able to hear it loud. It's banging and it's moving and the blood is pumping. What did he charge you for that? Nothing. You can hear beautiful sound with an amazing audio-visual system that's within your body. How much did he charge you? Nothing. You can breathe, you can smell, you can taste, your food is digested, the proteins, the carbohydrates, the vitamins, the minerals, they, they are balanced in an amazing way. What did he charge you? Nothing. So Allah Almighty has given us all of this. He's blessed you with people around you. You know what? You need to appreciate these people those who are around you. You need to appreciate them. Think about it. Now, here I am talking about hardship in praying. Yet the one whom I'm praying for gave me everything I have. And he tells me, look, I just want you to pray five times a day for your benefit. Get up in the morning, say a prayer. Wash yourself. The benefits they are with prayer is tremendous. When you wash your face, you wash your hands, you wash your feet, and you know, you wipe your head. The amount of goodness medically that that brings about for you is unmatched. Medicine has spoken about it. Some of the doctors have studied it. You can see some of these studies online. But what is even more beneficial is when you actually stand in prayer early morning and then midday, just after midday, and then afternoon, evening, and night. These are the five prayers. Allah has timed them awesomely, absolutely perfectly designed. That's Allah. He wants you to pray. If you're finding it difficult to pray, you need to firstly acknowledge that I need to pray five times a day because that's what that's the basic entry level. I'm a Muslim. I acknowledge that one of the pillars of Islam is prayer and it is five times a day. Fajr, Dhuhr, Asr, Maghrib and Isha. In that declaration and firm belief, you're a believer. If you're struggling, and I know perhaps the majority of Muslims have struggles when it comes to prayer because definitely shaitan is active. Shaitan comes about and he makes you th lazy. He makes you, uh, you know, think I'll do it just now, just now delay things and then you end up not doing it. He makes you uh, try to minimize the importance of it. Okay, I'll do it, but it's okay. I've got to, whatever the excuses are. And some people are just outright lazy and some people don't see the importance of it. So when you want to, to sort this matter out, you're finding it difficult. Number one, be serious about it. Acknowledge that you owe Allah five daily prayers. He gave you everything and you know what? You're going to go back to him. You have no option, no matter who you are. You have no option but to go back to your maker. You have no chance. There's nothing else. No matter how much money you have, how powerful you are, how influential you may be, how beautiful you're looking, how healthy you are, I swear by Allah, you have to go back to he who made you at some point. What are you going to take him? What are you going to tell him? What are you going to show him? The bare minimum is that, oh Allah, 
I tried my best to pray as you prescribed it. What did you prescribe? Five daily prayers. You begin to enjoy the prayers. Initially, you are going to have to push yourself. Without that push, you're not going to get anywhere. So dealing with difficulty regarding prayer, you acknowledge that you have to pray five times a day and you push yourself. You must look at so many other benefits, but even if you didn't know what the other benefits were, the fact that you know that Allah instructed you to pray five times a day should be enough. I'm a believer. I have conviction. What do I do in my prayer? I put my head down on the ground. And what do I say? I say, O oh, you who made me, O oh, you who is in control of my entire life, O oh, you who is my Rabb, the one who is, who is the sustainer and nourisher and cherisher of mine, you are the greatest. Subhana Rabbi al Azim. So I put my head on the ground for the one who made me alone, nobody else. That's what it is all about. So what is so difficult about that? Man gets up early morning for school and for work because he knows, well, if I don't go to work, I'm going to uh, not get a salary. And if I don't go to school, I'm going to fail my exams. That is so, so important to us, yet something more important, that is, if I don't get up in order to connect with Allah, I'm going to lose my whole hereafter. Shaitan makes us belittle that. It is more important to pray than to go to school and to go to work because you are supposed to go to school and work. I'm not saying it's not important, but prioritization. This one comes first because on your way to work, you might just die. Go back to your maker. What happened? You didn't pray. What happened to your salary? Do you think you can bring all that money and tell, tell Allah, here's the money? People will say that to Allah, that I wish I had all the money of the world to give you. Those who have wronged, those who have done wrong, on that day, they will wish that they had all the whole earth and whatever it contains in order to give it as a ransom, to pay it so that they can be released on that day. Allah says, no, man, it's too late. Allah says, we won't accept it from you. From now, we're telling you, there's no need to pay a ransom. Just pray five times a day, do your obligations, stay away from prohibition, seek forgiveness and enter paradise. As simple as that. Do your obligations, stay away from prohibitions, right? Do your obligations, stay away from your prohibitions, seek forgiveness and enter paradise. As simple as that. So here we are talking about dealing with the hardship of connecting with Allah through prayer. You're having a difficulty praying, push yourself. You have to push yourself. You have to get up. You have no option. There are people, so many people across the globe, millions of people who have less than you, who are praying five times a day and they're enjoying it. And why they enjoy it? Because they push themselves initially. Without that initial push, it's not just going to come. Be in good company, good friends, have people who talk about prayer, who pray. So when it's prayer time, they all want to go because you are on your own on the day of judgment. You're on your own defending yourself. <laughs> on that day, each soul will come defending itself, fighting for itself. That's it. No one's going to be with you. So you better pray. You better create an environment around you with your friends and your family members of prayer. Allah says, Save yourselves and your family members from the fire. And what should you be doing? You should be praying. You should be fulfilling the obligations, staying away from prohibition, seeking the forgiveness of Allah because we may falter now and again, but we are not people who don't care about prayer. No, we care. Allah Almighty gives us chances. It is an honor to be able to pray and put your head on the ground for Allah. A day will come when you will feel that honor and you will thank Allah. Oh Allah, you gave me sweetness in prayer. So I want to pray and I feel like praying. Learn the words of prayer. Learn the meanings of the words. Learn what you say. Make an effort. Make an effort and you will find Allah will help you dealing with the difficulty of being regular with your prayer by opening the doors of sweetness with that particular prayer. May Allah make us all steadfast. I hope these words would have encouraged us to deal with this issue of prayer. Aqulu qawli hadha wa sallallahu wa sallama wa baraka ala nabina Muhammad.